Hey guys, um, I've just uh, made some changes to my microphone. Hopefully it's uh, a bit better now and you can't hear the breathing in the background. I'm going to show you how to add in the um, symbols into the character's clothing. Uh, to do that, we need to um, activate the appearance editor. So as we brought the, the materials in, they're just flat materials that don't have any uh, PBR substances to them. and um, materials so we're going to add a PBR V13 materials on there so then we can add in um, the color IDs just let this load for a second so once that comes in uh, you'll notice that the mesh has um, it's been reduced uh, significantly, uh, so change this uh, apple size to uh, 2K. In the mesh data area, um, go to your color ID, and we're going to uh, grab our color ID from our uh, our textures. Uh, the color ID for the robes were a two material, so as you can see, it's popped up the two materials. We can go to the material section. Uh, the base is black and uh, it doesn't affect this because there's no black layers in there. So let's go to the red, uh, change it to input maps. Uh, what we want to do is we want to bring in the robes uh, base color, normal, roughness, and metallic. Uh, do that again for the green input base normal roughness and metallic uh, you'll notice a little bit of a, um, some issues here we've got uh, some mesh uh, it's like flickering uh, that's because of the displacement map um, just when you unload appearance editor just delete, delete the displacement map as I'll show you in a minute uh, as for the decals we can add the the uh, Templar symbol in uh, through the decals. So if we go to input, we want to um, bring in. Sorry, bear with me a second. I had that open just before. Uh, so it's in here. Oh, that's my substance data in Alpha, I believe. Um, so we've got. Uh, if I import this one in, well, let me show you what happens with this one. Uh, this is a JPEG, so it does not have. Let's go to the transform. I think that is uh, minus 0.32. Down a bit and make that a. Sorry, I've done these just a few times before. Uh, 0.15 and add this one as a 1.25. Um, and that needs to be up a bit more. Then probably over one more. There. Uh, so it brings in the white border there. So what we're wanting to do is uh, bring in a, a PNG with a transparent background. So now you have, uh, that's just come in with a transparent background. Uh, we can change those colors in a minute. Uh, we need to add the normal, yeah, roughness, and metallic. Um, in your tweak settings, in your tweak settings you'll be able to change the color. So I'm gonna drop that saturation down a bit. Uh, drop the luminosity down a bit. I'll uh, leave that there for now. Um, in the blend section, we want to turn off the normal, uh, turn off the roughness, turn off the metallic. So now we have it blending in with uh, all the other colors of the material here. Um, uh, the tweak section, we obviously want to drop that down a bit more. Uh, we want to get that tweak, the coloring, Roughly about the same as the colouring on the sh on the black sections around the edges. Uh, so we probably want that. Want that as dark, I think. I think that that looks right. We can go with that for now. Um, I'll make tweaks to that later. This is just showing you how to get it done. Um, and from there, we can. Uh, we can just hide that, so you just turn that off. Uh, we can create another decal in here. Um, it will the other it will retain the other one as well. So let's just add this as red. Um, I don't need to go through the rest of them, but we'll just add. So none there. We'll add the red. Go to the transform. Uh, drop this down a bit. Like we said, that was. Um, I don't 
was 0.33. Uh, this one was 0.05. And that one was about 1.5. So we've got to go up a bit. There we go. So we've got the, we now have the two, two decals in here. You can have up to three. Um, so what happens here is uh, we can, we can uh, turn this decal here off, uh, turn on the decal on the other one. Uh, you'll be able to add them over the top as well and have all the files going on at once, but we just want the one symbol for now. So with that one symbol there, we're going to unload the appearance editor. Uh, that unloads it. Uh, quickly while we are here, uh, that, that issue that you're having there is purely from the displacement map. Just delete the displacement map. So you'll have... That's working fine. Now we can go back here into the uh, robes and reactivate the appearance editor again. Um, so this will allow us to uh, change that uh, symbol on there. Um, so as long as you don't uh, export it out and then bake it in, you can always uh, change the symbols in Character Creator. Uh, so what we want to do is go to the decals. And we can turn this decal off and turn the other decal on. And you can have the multiple decals there. Uh, so that's, I don't know if that's coming up with the export because I had material on there, whatever. Uh, so that's that's fine there. Uh, so you'll have the decals embedded in there. So I'm just going to show you that again because there was an issue with that one. So we can turn this one off. No. Turn this one on. Unload appearance editor. That will close it, and now you have your character with the black symbol uh, on his the black Templar symbol on his chest. We want to reactivate the appearance editor to go back in. Uh, this will allow us to change it. Um, so wait for it to load. Uh, it, it retains the data that's in there. So we go to the decals and we can just simply turn off the uh, input here. Uh, simply turn that off to none. None. And go to the second decal and uh, add that on. Uh, as, as, I, as I just said before, it retains the data that's in there. There was just that issue because I didn't have, I, I switched it to none when they had stuff on it and that had this weird thing there. So. Uh, just make sure that you, you don't, if you do add something in there, uh, leave them in there. Uh, Alright, so with that done, um, you can just uh, go through and edit your own um, onto the clothing at, at any point. You can put them in any position. Um, you can add them onto your boots, on wherever you want, uh, put it on your helmet. Um, but that's just the appearance that I remember. When you come out, uh, delete that displacement map. That fixes that issue of the clothing there. Alright.